Japanese Whiskey Lockdown. I'm your host, Kilara Sen, aka Paint Unicorn. <laughs> I was just trying to expand my room a little bit bigger. <laughs> I've been staying here for months. I started to sing its folds. <laughs> yes, lockdown on state of emergency is postponed. From April 29th to May 6th, it was supposed to be Golden Week, which is Japanese Holiday Week. But for some people, it'll be Golden Month as a result. You know, we Japanese people get confused when we have too long holidays. Like, I don't know what to do. Let us work! I wanna work! So, I saw American people protesting their stay-at-home orders on the news. They're all yelling like, Let us back in public! Let us back in public! Nothing makes American people more willing to do something than when they are told they shouldn't. Well, I sold out my receipts monthly to avoid being freaked out as by my tax return. And then I found out the transportation expense of this April was just zero! Zero! Well, instead, I spent more whiskey expense for keeping my sanity. watching since episode one then you remember that we are faced with very new situation our first weekend in lockdown in Tokyo I spoke to whiskey Richard a whiskey writer who has a blog called no communication we talked about some recent Japanese whiskey news but he also took some time to show me the whiskey he's been enjoying in lockdown let's take a look at what's on his shelf and I believe you already stuck some whiskeys for this lockdown time. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, yes have, uh, yeah. So what did you get? Um, so I've actually got um, three bottles that I picked up. Um, mm -hmm. you know, that ho hopefully last me for the next, ho hopefully the lockdown is only a few weeks long. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I've got a couple of bottles um, that I'm going to be drinking over the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, the first one I've got is a Yamazaki. Yamazaki! Uh, yes, limited edition 2017. Um, limited one, edition? Yes, unfortunately they haven't been able to make these in recent years, but the limited editions um, typically use, you know, high teens uh, Yamazaki whiskeys. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a, it's always a good blend of Yamazaki every year that they have that they've made it. Wow, you are uh, so professional drinker. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I also have um, mm -hmm. you know, a different distillery, a bit of variety. Uh, so the next bottle is the Kirin Fuji Gotemba. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the single grain uh, distiller mm -hmm. select. Uh, I bought this bottle at the distillery actually. Um, this, mm -hmm. is the, this is the 2018 edition, but this is a single cask bottling. Um, wow. Kirin's obviously probably got the best grain whiskey operation in Japan. Oh, really? Yes, wow. a fantastic grain. They actually just took home uh, world's best uh, grain whiskey um, in the 2020 World Whiskey Awards. Fuji Gotemba. Hmm. It yes. should be close to Mount Fuji, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I heard that they're going to change the name to the Mount Fuji Distillery, but <laughs> we'll see if that actually happens. Yeah. Um, and then the third bottle I have is this uh -huh. is from the Whiskey Festival in Tokyo last year. Uh, this is Komagatake. So Komagatake! Mars I yeah. got it, I got it. Yeah. This one, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, uh, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> I was wondering how yeah. it tastes though. Maybe wow. maybe a lockdown's a good time to find them. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. Come on. So you said whiskey festival? Uh yeah, so there's uh you know the, the Tokyo Whiskey Festival is um it's every year. Um and basically this bottle is one of the um lottery bottles, but um it's you know heavily peated which as a seven-year uh, komagatake, which is fantastic. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much, and please take good care of yourself, and yeah. uh, have a great weekend with whiskeys. 
どうもありがとうございます。またよろしくお願いします。あ、こちらこそよろしくお願いします。Thanks. Spending more time with your spouse or partner. That might be the most challenging Corona challenge. But for some, spending time together improves their relationship. For example, in a zoo in Hong Kong where no customers are around, a giant panda couple made it for the first time in 10 years. Which I don't think is a big deal because I've always made it without customers around. Alright, guys, so the next guest is very, very famous sushi chef. Having trained for 10 years in Japan, developing his craft, he is now head chef of Shoji at 69 Leonard in New York City. So please welcome Derek Wilcox! Woo! Oh. Well, thank you very much for joining us and, uh, konnichiwa, yorashiku onegaishimasu! How does work in New York compare to working in Japan? When I was serving in Japan, People, the guests will ask me questions like, you know, where are you from? Like that. But they don't ask me, you know, like, where is that fish from? Where is that uni from? Like, what part of Hokkaido is that uni from? People don't ask, no, you go to a, you go to a nice restaurant in Japan, you kind of assume they're going to serve you nice things. But、uh-huh. people, it's like, really, they want to investigate. So, it's, it's,、uh, I, I like it though. I like, I like how, how kind of detailed the, the guests here in New York are. Ah,、uh, that's, that's quite interesting. But when you came to Japan, what was the biggest difference from New York? In Japan, it's almost like going back to being, you know, an eight year old again, where, like, the restaurant I worked at had a, a ryo, had a, a, a dorm with、mm-hmm. a huge common bath, and we're all just taking showers together. And then, you know, we all go out drinking together. We, we went. Once went to a hot spring with the chef,、mm-hmm. and all the cooks had to wash the chef's back. <laughs> <laughs> really? So it's almost like there's so much less kind of distance between people in Japan in terms of,、uh, you know, just, just normal, like everyday life. I see, I see. So,、uh, Dirk san,、uh, how would you explain Japanese craftsmanship? Now, with the, with the lockdown, A lot of chefs here don't know what to do with themselves. Like, is there going to be a future in New York、uh, as a chef? And I think in Japan, it's not even a question. You know, that's you practice your craft and it's something that you give to society. And I don't, I don't think there are any sushi chefs in Japan who are thinking right now, maybe I can't be a sushi chef anymore and I have to find some other career. Uh, and, and chefs in other disciplines, it's the same in Japan. If you have a craft, you take it seriously, it gives your life meaning, but it also gives you a role in society. I think for those of us who are in kind of craftsmanship careers, we can learn a lot from how the Japanese you know, view craftsmanship and how Japanese craftsmen and women view themselves and their role in society. Ah,、uh, that's, that's quite interesting. Why do you think Japanese whiskey pairs well with sushi? With sushi, you have many different kinds of fish. So it's not just raw fish on rice. You know, eel, like unagi that's cooked and a little bit sweet. You might have egg. You might have, you know, some what are called yakumi, like kind of strong seasonings like wasabi, sesame seed,、uh, ginger. It becomes really difficult to pair with, with, a, with a drink. But Uh, whiskey actually, a lot of people in Japan will drink whiskey with sushi. And、uh, whiskey is pretty common, especially as a highball. I think、uh, anytime you have sushi that has nutty kind of flavors, it will go really well, <laughs> especially a Japanese whiskey, which tend to be light and nutty. Well, we're going to make today some tomaki,、uh, which is easy. Today's dish has, has shiitake mushroom and uh, goma, uh, toasted sesame seed. Uh, as well as、uh, prawn,、uh, a few vegetables. So, there are some whiskeys that are aged in like sherry barrels and they pick、mm-hmm. up kind of raisiny flavors like、um, 
you know, there's some even like 30 year whiskeys, uh, Japanese whiskeys, and they have kind of prune and raisin flavors. I think those would go perfectly with, with this kind of sushi. Great, great. told in the dating world, many singles aren't holding back. Dating apps like Hinge, Tinder, and Bumble are reporting that users are still interacting online via text and video, even if they are not meeting up in person. We at Whiskey Lockdown always encourage you to share your love of whiskey with a special someone. So we'd like to guide through our best tips for online dating during the quarantine. Check it out! Number Take a picture of beautiful living room behind you on the wall. So your date thinks you're living in a mansion. Number Keep your kissing skills from getting rusty by practicing on your hand. Number Order gourmet food for dinner and tell your date that you had a little time to whip something up. So easy! Derek san, uh, because of the time difference, now it's noon here in Japan. And okay. yeah, and you made me so hungry. So. <laughs> I'd like you to take the responsibility. <laughs> so, could you make something for us tonight? Could you cook something for us today? This is something everybody can do at home too. Uh, it's, okay. it's not, uh, and you can use almost anything that you have. It's called tomaki, uh, which means fat roll. People are familiar with like ordinary sushi rolls that have maybe one ingredient or maybe two ingredients in them, and they're you know they're not that thick. But this is a different kind of sushi roll that has, it should have seven ingredients because seven is a lucky number both in Japan and everywhere in the world. And uh, of course we all need, we all need some luck uh, sometimes. You don't have to use raw fish. Uh, what I'm making today is a, kind of a traditional Kyoto style and I'll be using uh, these ingredients. So there's tamago, which is egg, uh, kuruma ebi or uh, imperial prawn, uh, okay. anak, uh, salt water eel, Campio, uh, uh, which is a kind of gourd that's simmered in soy sauce and sugar. Uh, shiitake mushroom, this is dried shiitake mushroom, so it has very strong flavor. Uh, kiwi or, or cucumber. Uh, if you're going to use cucumber, just make sure you cut out the seeds in the middle because they're too watery. And then um, uh, it's kind of hard to see on the green, but this, at the very top here is uh, mitsuba, which is a kind of herb. It's a little bit like parsley. So whatever you use at home, use seven things. You can use meat, you can use fish, you can use raw, you can use cooked, um, but make sure you always have uh, maybe something that you make from egg. Uh, you can even just make scrambled eggs and put it in there and have, you know, some maybe one or two kinds of fish or meat and a, a few kinds of um, uh, vegetables and some kind of um, herb maybe. And, and then just, you know, have seven things, you know, cut them all kind of the same length and about the same thickness and it should turn out perfectly. So you need a full sheet of nori. I think for people at home, it's easier to go the long way. So, uh, you know, put your ingredients across the short way and then roll it in the direction of the, of the long way. It's, it's easier to get a nice clean roll. And if you use a full sheet of nori, uh, one, of the, one of the only difficult things is, is how much rice to use. So mm -hmm. when you, you know, after you make your sushi rice, uh, mm -hmm. if you use a full sheet of nori, and you use a, about a half pound or uh, 40 grams, so eight ounces of uh, sushi rice. It should be just about right. And you want to start about an, an inch or two or so centimeters from the end, from the far end. You put the rice down. And you want to make kind of a wall of rice. And then you pull it all the way down to the end. Little by little. And you can make the rice any way you want, uh, whatever your favorite recipe for sushi rice is. In Kyoto, they make rice a little bit sweeter, mm. Tokyo, but 
Uh, either way works. Here at Shoji, we make Tokyo style, uh, so it's not so sweet. But with a with a tomaki, a lot of the uh, ingredients are cooked with sugar, so you kind of have a balance of sweetness and saltiness. So you have your rice spread out, and you want to make sure there's a little wall left at the end, and that'll make it much easier to roll. And then you just put in all of your ingredients, and the tomago, the ebi, the anago, the kanto, chitake, kiri. And then if you want the tomaki to go particularly well with um, whiskey, <laughs> you can <laughs> maybe add some toasted sesame seed. I like to add uh, oboro, which is crumbled shrimp. Uh, it adds kind of a sweetness and, and richness of flavor. And then you roll. And the only, you have to kind of hold on to the ingredients as you roll. And once you come down, you come down on top of that little, that little space that you left. Mm -hmm. And you grab the far end of the rolling mat and you pull pretty firmly. Mm -hmm. And squeeze sort of gently, but pull this firmly. Mm -hmm. And then lift up this part of the mat and roll it over a little on top of that little uh, strip that you got. And then you pull again. And that's it. This is optional, but if you want, you can put the mat over the top and wet your hand and kind of push the side in a little bit. That makes it a little uh, cleaner when you cut. Is, is it easy to get the rolling mat in, in America? Oh, yes. Um, a lot of supermarkets actually sell it. Oh. Now, yes, if you're if it's Groundhog Day or uh, Setsubun, then you eat the whole thing without cutting. But yeah, yeah. Time of year, you go ahead and cut it. First, I'm going to show kind of what each slice looks like. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. You can see all the ingredients inside, all seven. Uh -huh. I think if, if you make one at home, uh, maybe the first time you make it, it will be a difficult to, to get everything uh, to line up. But I think uh, if you just make it like two or three times, then um, you kind of get used to how it rolls up and, and where things go when you roll it. Oh, it's so Oh my goodness. Itadakimasu. <laughs> if you can eat it in one bite, mm -hmm. barely, then it's the right size. But if it's, you, most people would want to bite it maybe in half. For hungry sushi fans in New York, can they receive a delivery of your sushi at home? Uh, yes, we do both delivery and takeout. Wow, great. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Itadakimasu. Number six. To end the video chat on a high note, put a white love coat on and say, the cure is not going to find itself. Number seven. Serenade your day with a beautiful song. As long as your lip syncing is on point, they'll never know it's coming out of your computer speakers. Number eight. Let your date be impressed by how intellectual you are by leaving a collection of classic novels on the shelf behind you. Of course, you read them. Number nine. To show your commitment, invite your date to meet your parents and then enjoy the three month grace period before they can actually meet. excited to have this guest tonight I'm wearing the offshore costume to welcome him so he is one of my best friends and he's been really really talented singer-songwriter and entrepreneur so please welcome George James Yay! Oh my 
my gosh. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Joe, you have such confidence to express yourself. Where did you get your confidence and, and your inspiration? I think that the most important thing for me、uh, when it comes to confidence is to be yourself. Maybe there are still many people、uh, who are scared about being confident or just、uh, being open minded or yeah, pursuing their dream. So, do you have any advice to those people? My, my advice to people who are afraid, who can't, you know, they, they are like, you know, not confident or they're afraid or they can't find themselves, I, I would tell them this like, firstly, love yourself. When you love yourself, you will start to find every single thing that you need to find to be who you are and to actually put out the confidence towards the world. Wow, that's great. So I know you are really good at dancing in high heels. So, when did you start practicing wearing high heels or yeah, dancing or singing, everything? I, I, I chose to wear high heels because I wanted people to look at me. I wanted people to, I just wanted people to give me more attention, like, just look at me and like, you know, the attention. Because if I don't like have the high heels, the attentions just don't come to me. So, when attention doesn't come to me, I feel like nobody's like really listening to me. So, It's like I needed all of these things to actually have people look at me. And after you look at me, I can take off all of these things and show you that I'm really talented. Wow, that sounds really interesting and fantastic. 100% sure the audience w a n t to see your performance. Now, if possible,、uh, could I ask、um, you to. Just... I, I prepared a song. Oh, a song really? For... Wow, that's great. That's great. Hold on, hold on. You can see my face now! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so,、um, I prepared this song for you.、Um, I hope you like it.、Mm -hmm. And here it goes. Of this show, got so interested and got fell in love with you by this interview. So,、uh, where can we find out more about you? It's very simple.、Uh, firstly, go to Instagram because I'm very, 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 very active on Instagram. So, my Instagram account is J O A J A M E S I T S M E. Joa James, it's me. Joa James, it's me. So, Joa James, thank you. Arigato! Thank you very much for tuning in to Japanese Whiskey Lockdown. I believe you enjoyed it. 
don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yeah, follow my social media too. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay loving whiskey. And have a great weekend!